guys. Happy New Year. Hi. Are you guys are hanging out with us? Yeah. In welcome. the future. But like right now it's New Year's Eve. But when you see it, it will be 2015. It will be not New Year's Eve anymore. Exactly. Because it will be the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every year, our dad sends around an email and it has a list of questions all about the year and our whole family circulates it and I love seeing the answers <laughs> and Hillary and I thought we would share our list with y'all this year. Best song or CD? I had two. You're not allowed to pick two! My favorite song was the cover of Once Upon a Dream by Lana Del Rey. Ooh, good I choice. haven't seen the movie Maleficent, but I listened to that a lot. And my favorite album was Platinum by Miranda Lambert. I actually do like some Miranda Lambert songs, but like the fact that that was like your favorite is just sad. <laughs> <laughs> What's your answer, Chucklehead? Okay, so my answer, and I only picked one because that's what you're supposed to do. It's about like really drilling down like on what's important to your year though. So my favorite album was Lily Allen's She's This album. Just so good, like, it's like just so good. Though, like, you just like can't get over how good it is and stuff, and like, it's just so good. Best movie, I said Gone Girl. I love anything David Fincher Ooh, ben does Affleck, now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. He's like, I have a problem. No, I gamble in Las Vegas, count cards. <laughs> <laughs> he was very good in it. He's just like annoying, I don't know. I feel bad for that Jennifer Garner. She seems like a nice woman. Best movie that wasn't made in 2014, but that I saw in 2014 was Life 2.0. <laughs> it was no! so creepy. It's a creepy documentary on Netflix about people who are into like the virtual world second life. If you guys don't know what second life is, just like Google second life. No, watch Life 2.0 on Netflix. It is a game changer. It's so if disturbing. You're into, like, weird stuff. Best concert or live event? Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I loved it. Okay, that's not a live event. It is the very definition of a live no, event. No, but the lot. No. So mine was the Frozen sing along at Disney World because Jill was being so annoying. She's like, we have to go to sing along. Like, we have to, we have to, we have to. And I was like, no, it's gonna be like brutal people singing Let It Go. I cannot <laughs> go through with that. It's two people standing in front of a PowerPoint explaining the story of Frozen. And I was like, I told you that. I told you it would be this bad. And she's like, Hill, seriously, we have to go. And she started freaking out. You can see Hillary gloating about this in our Disney vlog. Yeah, go check out the Disney vlogs. Okay, so we're back. Um, Diet Pepsi break is always needed. <laughs> this isn't sponsored, by the way. I wish it was. Although it's like, then no one would ever drink it again. We love Diet Pepsi, so we just sit around like eating it. <laughs> Drinking it. Basically eating it though. <laughs> so the next question is best new experience. Vlogging and making videos for YouTube. That was something that was completely new to me and was on my list of things to try maybe. And then in a moment of lunacy, I was just like, why not me? <laughs> Don't say that. Just like, why not me though? A woman uh, came in and spoke in my <laughs> office and she was like a motivational speaker and she like looked right at me and said, you have to wonder like, why not you? <laughs> I just said makeup. It's not Your really- Your best new experience <laughs> yeah. is makeup? It's not really an experience, but like I never, I could always like put my face on if I was like going out, but I never got into makeup until probably like when I put on weight and then like it was really helpful Aww. to like hide the weight though. Yeah, you learned to contour. <laughs> <laughs> Best book, Sex God by Rob Bell. And it sounds like it's really sexy, but it's actually an American pastor writing about um, sex and spirituality. And it gave me like profound knowledge and like shifted my whole view on sexuality, so. That's my favorite book of the year. My favorite book has to be um, an N slash A moment. <laughs> Hillary doesn't read. A what? lot of my job is just reading constantly. Yeah. So what you want to do when you get home is like watch Netflix documentaries about killers and weirdos. Yeah. Best TV show? Married, Married at First, first Sight. Sight. 
I knew they were gonna have the same one. Yeah. Best funny moment or joke? For me, the best joke or funny moment of the year, we were doing a Nina Garcia unboxing, and it was the moment I pulled out this purse, and it's so brutal. That was my moment! Was it? Yeah! Well, even when I think of it, it makes me laugh. I know, it makes me laugh. Link below for that unboxing. That's so funny. That's it was our, It was, oh, that is, that was my joke too. Best joke. Best trip. Our sissy Disney trip. Sissy Disney! Yeah! It was the first time we traveled together, like, alone. On our own. And it was like, this could go one of two ways. Could be at the bottom of a swamp in Florida right I was now. gonna say I could have drowned you in a pool, but you were pretty close. Best meal, Boma at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So, I had a tie between two pastas. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> I've got a lot of time it's for some, same but you have two pastas duking me. <laughs> I know, I the, the, just They're just pastas. like, their excellence can't be contained like, in I love two pasta. of them. So there's one place that I go every year for my birthday called Piola in yeah. Toronto, and they have such a good pasta though. But the other one was the one at Disney World. Remember I ate that pasta like five times. You The one at the resort? Yeah, it was so good. It was a make your own pasta. Best personal news. For me, it was like, success on YouTube and I don't mean success like I exploded money. more money that's yeah. for sure yeah but I mean success like it's a very vulnerable position to like create all these videos and put them out there and be like is this just gonna be people from my work laughing at me yeah. like you kind of need some people to like it to legitimize it and make you feel like oh, okay I understand like what people would like in a video and so I feel like every view I get or every like I get or especially comments because I love like keeping in touch and stuff is like okay I'm on the right track I didn't make a huge mistake yeah you don't have like anonymous haters yeah actually there was one comment we got at Disney World oh the guy was like could you say like go any more time though and I was like wow okay. <laughs> Jelly Jelly on that trip. They're Jelly Clarkson. Jelly Clarkson. I stole that. I just said Jelly Clarkson and I want to give props where it's due. There's a girl on Instagram who watches our videos, Yo, I'm Mary Mo, and she used that term about our Disney trip and I was like, I love that expression. Oops. Back to New okay. Year's. What's, okay, what's the next thing? Uh, Best personal news. Oh yeah, so you're YouTube like pre-hater phase. <laughs> Um, so my best personal news was my mom, like, helped us go to Disney again financially. She didn't pay for the whole trip, but it was that last, her, like, Christmas money was, like, this boost where it was like, oh my gosh, we can go. We'll be there for my birthday, though. I'm gonna make the whole trip about me. I'm gonna throw you in the swamp. On your birthday. That's twice she said it. And she's giving you a date. <laughs> and sort of like start a Reddit, yeah. start a Reddit thread, yeah. Serial season two. <laughs> Best toy game or amusement for me, it's YouTube. YouTube is my like ultimate amusement. It's how I amuse myself, making videos, but especially like watching a million of them in a row. I said YouTube as well. Yeah, Hillary got me into YouTube. She was like, I guess. she was. You were ahead of your time. It's amusing for me to do videos with Jill. Cause like I don't have to do much, I just like show up and like laugh at her and then like walk away though. Oh. Best change or personal improvement? Mine would be drawing closer to God. I feel like I've become more spiritual and uh, that's because I've met several people uh, this past year who have like shared their wisdom with me but also I just saw how they lived and how happy they were and I was just like, give me a piece of that. So you're like joining the Illuminati? No. <laughs> <laughs> my best personal improvement was my lob. Ooh, that was a good Which one. Which was my hair. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed those answers. We will leave the questions below. Even though it will be the new year, it'd be awesome to see what your guys You know what, I let's make were. this a tag. Okay. Let's just do it. Okay. Let's do it. I want to tag Kelly from Dixie Debutantes. I want to tag Maureen from Glitter and Grocery. I want to tag Amanda at It's Amanda's Life. I want to tag Lydia at Five for Five Meals. And I want to tag Kim Robin. She is newer to YouTube, but she is excellent. 
I and love I just her love, videos. I love her vibe. Yeah. She's so, like relaxed and mellow and cool. And I'm sure I'm forgetting people, but anyone who wants to do this, please do it. Because I think, I love this. This is essentially a tag that my dad created. Yeah, is, that's been going on for a few years in our family, but it's, it's good to reflect on the year and sometimes you remember stuff that you completely forgot about. Yeah, so like join our extended family and do this tag. Okay, we will be looking for your answers. Happy 2015. Happy New Year.